It's a little tricky. It's a little tricky. Your setup should look something like this. We're going to expand each of our numbers. Notice I'm really careful to line up my tens with my tens, my hundreds with my hundreds, oops, my ones with my ones. Right? We're good so far. I saw a lot of you do this. Where do I start, typically? Fabiana? At the ones. At the ones. Why do I usually start at the ones? Because you might have to trade something. Exactly. I might have to trade something. So I want to make sure I'm starting with my smallest numbers. 9 plus 0. I can do that all day. 9 plus 0 is? 9. 9. Did I have to make any trades? No. No. 9 can go right in that one's place and it's happy. Alright. Move over to my tens. 50 plus 60. What is 50 plus 60? If you know your doubles, this should be a pretty easy one for you. Doubles plus one multiple of 10. Sure. Aiden, what is 50 plus 60? Um, 110. 110. Oops. Yikes. Can I put 110 in my test place? No. no, I need to trade. What am I going to trade? Piper, what am I going to trade? The one. Mm. No. The hundred. The hundred, good. And where is it going to go? Um, in the hundreds place. In the hundreds place. Are we happy so far there? Yeah. Aiden, Tracy, you need to get this written down because you did not have this written down. Thank you. This is the tricky part. 100 plus 200 is 300. Plus 800 uh -oh. equals 1100. Now, Maddie asked me a good question when I was going around. She said, well, I have a thousand, and I know a thousand can't go in the hundreds place. So, yeah, you would stick it over here, out in space, a thousand. But do you have anything over there? No. No, so it just come down. So then it would look like this. A thousand plus one hundred plus ten plus nine. What is that number in standard form? Santiago, what is this number in standard form? Nope. Think about it. One thousand. Thirty-nine? Hundred, it's not a hundred and nine. Think about what this is. So, what would that number be? About ten hundred. Ryan, what's going to be that number? It's one thousand one hundred and nineteen. All right, start working on that second problem. I know many of you hadn't gotten there yet. Start working on that second problem. All right, notice how I set up that second problem. My second number was 20, 24. Are there any hundreds in 24? No. No. If it helps you to keep spacing, to put some zeros here, that's fine. That doesn't change my number. That'll work. All right, let's start with my one. Eight plus four is going to be what, Madeline? Twelve. Twelve. Oops. Yikes. yikes. What is yikes about this, Madeline? We can't have a ten in my one's place. Love it. We can't have a ten in my one's place. So where's my ten got to go? To the tens. Awesome. Let's keep going. 10 plus 70 is 80. And 80 plus 20 is 100. 
hundred. Yikes. Yikes. What are we going to do, Ace Tracy? I'm going to move my hundred over here. So what's left in my pins? Nothing. I had a hundred pins. I moved them to the hundreds category, and now I have nothing. All right, Emily, what's next? Yeah, well, 200 in the hundreds place. 100 plus 100 leaves me with 200. Let's make that a standard form number. Caleb, can you put that number in standard form? Fantastic. 202. We feeling okay about expanded form addition? Yeah. Goes a lot faster than drawing pictures? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Today, we're going to use the same strategy, but we're going to go into expanded form subtraction. So, I want you to draw a line. Actually, let's just turn the page. Go to the next blank page. Our title is expanded form subtraction. We're going to use the same strategy of expanded form, but today we're going to be subtracting. No, you can put expanded form subtraction, just like everybody else. Alright, when we start expanded form subtraction, we start it the exact same way. We're going to expand out both of our numbers. Notice I still put my plus sign in between. It can't be subtraction sign. Because just because I've expanded that number, it still has to be equal to 734. If I put subtraction signs in there, that's 700 minus 30 minus 4. Is that going to be equal to 734? No. Sometimes that's tricky, so be careful of that. Alright, so I have my equation set up. Got both my numbers expanded out. I paid attention to make sure that my hundreds were aligned with my hundreds, tens were aligned with my tens, my ones lined up with my ones. Which category am I going to start with, or which column am I going to start with? It doesn't change. Aiden Tracy? Um, listen to my question. Which column, which uh, place value am I going to start with? Place value. What is place value? Hundreds, tens, ones, thousands, millions. One. Why am I going to start with the one? make a trace, so we want to start with the smallest number. This is where it matters. Do I start with the top number, the bottom number, the easy number? Where do I start when I'm subtracting? Gabriella? The biggest. No. The smallest. No. If you think you start with the biggest number, get that out of your head. That is not going to serve you well. Brian? The one. No. We've already talked about we're starting in the ones. We're talking about which number? 734, 352, which number? Teddy? The whole. I'm starting with the whole. The whole. The total. In this case, my total is my top number. Sometimes that means that's really easy peasy subtraction. Sometimes that means I've got to make a bunch of trades. It kind of depends. Get out of your desk. Alright, so we're going to start at the top. I have 4 subtract 2. Can I do that? Yes. 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 Now, Vianna, what is 4 subtract 2? Two? 2. 2. Awesome. No problems there. 
right, let's move it over to our ten. Starting at the top. Thirty, subtract fifty. Can I do that? Easy, easy. No. No. What do I need more of, Catherine? No, get your hands out of your desk. Whatever is so exciting in there, put your hands on top of your desk. Thank you. We have 30, subtract 50. I need more, what, Piper? 10. Where are my 10s hiding? Where are they hiding, Naviana? In your hundreds. In my hundreds. Go steal a 100. I'm now left with 600. I'm going to leave a 100 in the tent. I know normally we freak out about 100 being in the tent column, but we need that 100. My strategy to you is after you put that 100, make a box around those two numbers because now they get added together. <coughs> and it becomes 130. You see how I did that? Are we okay with that? So now I have 130 subtract 50. Can I do that? Easy. What is that going to be? I have a strategy. Don't just sit there and look at me. Count on, count backwards, do something. Ava, what's it going to be? 80. Going over to my hundreds, 600, subtract 300. Can I do that easy peasy, Elliot? What's that going to leave me with, Elliot? 300. All right, Catherine, put this back in standard form for me. 382. Okay with that? Yeah. It's not so different. It's pretty similar to expanded form addition, right? Pretty similar. Yes, ma'am. Great. Problem solved. All right. Are we okay with this? You ready to try another one? All right. Let's move on. All right. Is always equal 
to the total amount. So I'm going to draw these arrows like this to remind me that that rectangle means total. So that whole rectangle, if I fill it in, that will give me the total. What am I counting again, Caleb? Geese. Do I know the total amount of geese that was there one day? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. What's that problem again? Did you see what the total amount of geese were uh -huh. hanging out? Uh -huh. What was the total amount of geese that were hanging out that day? Yeah, we know there was a total of 252 geese hanging out. But then what happened? But then what happened in tracing? 98. 98. That is one part of our group. That is one part of our group. Do we know how many geese were left? No. Nope. Nope. We've been talking a lot about part, part, whole. Are you ready? This is one part. This is the other part. And this is my whole. Now that you know that, and that's written in your notebook, right? Yep. And you come up with an equation. You come up with an equation. Piper, what you thinking? 98 plus. Love. Blank. Blank, box, question mark, whatever. Equals 250. Awesome. Part plus part equals whole. Fantastic. Is that equation going to be super easy for us to solve? No. Can I make another equation that might be easier to solve? Piper, that equation is awesome. Rockstar. Totally works. But that's not making math easy for me. So let's rearrange it to see if we can make it a little easier. Jackson, what are you thinking? Um, uh, we're talking about an equation. Oh. So I need a, no, a math equation. Love. Yes. Awesome. Does that help me out a little bit? Yeah. Can I do 252 minus 98? Yeah. yeah. Does anyone know how to add boxes? Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. You know how to add boxes? Yeah. The boxes are just random numbers. Yeah, they're just random numbers. I think this equation right here that we just, oh, that was supposed to be a different color. Let's try that again. Okay, it'll just be black today. That's fine. That equation right here is what's going to be the most helpful. Yes, Santiago, please take a couple to your seat. Are we okay with this? So now we have a subtraction problem, yes? 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 Caleb, I appreciate you getting annoyed because I feel the same way. I got people staring at the ceiling. All right, let's set up our equation. 252, because that's my whole. If I'm writing, you're writing. Subtract 98, because that's my part. Expand it out. What's my whole? Which one of those numbers is my whole again? Remind me, Lindley. The top one, my 252. So I'm going to start at the top and go down. 2 subtract 8. Can I do that easy peasy? No. I need more 
Ones. I need more ones. Where are they hiding, though, Miss Tatiana? In the tent. Let's steal a ten. Meaning we have only forty, four tens left over. I'm giving my new ten to my ones. Put a box around it, because now my total of ones is twelve. Twelve subtract eight, and I do that easy. Yes. Yeah. 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 What is twelve subtract eight, Gabriella? What is 140 subtract 90? Mm, no, I don't know what you're doing. Stop. We're doing math. Column? 5. 50. 50. 100 minus 0. Can you do that easy peasy? Yeah. Yes. What is that? All right, Piper, put this number back in standard form for me. 154. Are we done? No. Yeah. This yeah. is a naked number. <gasps> Yikes! What are we counting? Puppy? Cupcake? No! Miss Miller? No! Captain? Peace! 154 geese. Geese. We need to know what in the world we're counting. Yeah. Geese. Are we okay with that? Yes. We are going to spend a lot of time with bar models. They can be used to help you figure out your equation. That's what a bar model is there for. To put you, what you know from your problem into a picture, so then you can come up with an equation, and then you can solve it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Are we ready to do some work on our desk today? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you guys were like, yes, and then you thought about it, and then you were like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right, make sure this is in your notebook, because you can't take your desk home, but you can take your notebook home. I can't make, uh, uh, Please make sure this is in your notebook. If once it's in your notebook, your notebook can go live inside your desk. And we're going to be working on these two problems using expanded form on our desk. Because it's expanded form, you should be able to solve both problems on your desk. You don't have to erase. Does that make sense? Yes. This is the part where you give me some acknowledgments. Yes, we understand. Yes. Awesome. 